through to the final where they will uh, meet Watanabe and Higashino, who earlier today beat Chang Nan and Li Yinhui. So just one more semi-final to come, and it's the second men's doubles. Hiroyuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe up against the two-time former champions, Matthias Bo and Karsten Mogensen. Well, by the end of day two, we only had one seed left in the bottom half of the draw, and that was Bo and Morgensen. In the top half, the defending champions are already through to the final, Gideon and Sulkamolio. This is the Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships 2018 and the men's doubles semi-final. Let's welcome the players. First out from Japan, Hiroyuki Endo, Ayuta Watanabe. Hiroyuki Endo and Ayuta Watanabe. The left and right-handed combination from Japan for Hiroyuki Endo. He is looking to reach his fourth All England final. He was three times runner-up with Kenichi Hawakawa. And let's hear it for their opponents. The number two seeds from Denmark, Matthias Ball. Number two seeds from Denmark, and Matthias Ball and Karsten Morgensen. Two time All England champions, having contested three finals. They, like their opponent Hiroyuki Endo, is hoping to reach a fourth. All England final by winning this semi final here today. Well, the veteran Danes. so tactically astute that despite what many may consider advanced age for badminton players they still find a way to win and that is all credit to them that they are able to do so And Carsten Morgensen, 34 years of age, born in Oroskila. He and his partner spent a total of 68 weeks as world number ones. They are currently world number twos. And they're making their 12th appearance at the All England as a pair. They've been in their partnership, well, for 14 full years. This is their 15th year together. Matthias Bowl, 37 years of age, born in Friedrichsund, but brought up in Odense. They haven't had to play against any other seeded pairs, including today, because their opponents are not seeded. They went to three games in the second round against the 17-year-old Sapwik Sairaj Ranki Reddy and Shiraj Shetty. They actually had to save a match point in that third game, 20-21 down before winning it, 23-21, as you can see. Yesterday, they beat the Olympic silver medalist from Rio de Janeiro, Govi Shem and Tam Wee Kion. Close first game, but were totally dominant in the second. So to the left-hander, Yuta Watanabe, Ready 20 years of age, born in Suginami, which is part of Tokyo. Out for a long period last year with a back injury. Hiroyuki Endo is now 31, born in Kawaguchi City in Saitama. 
And as I say, he has been in three All England men's doubles finals with former partner Hayakawa. As far as they're concerned, they, like their opponents, had a struggle in the second round against the number eight seeds, Li Zhehui and Li Yang. Dropped the opening game and only won 22-20 in the decider. So Weyana, our umpire from Indonesia. Gunas Lustiaris from Latvia is our service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Iriyuki Indo and Yuta Watanabe, Japan. And on my left, Matthias Bu and Kasten Mogensen, Denmark. Big support for the Danes. Yuta Watanabe to serve to Kasten Mogensen. Love all. Play. Play. <laughs> One love. Well, for this young man, Yuta Watanabe. Chance to reach a second final because he's already in the mixed doubles final with Arisa Higashino. Ah. Of course, the last male yeah. player to reach two finals here at the All England Championships was only three years ago. Jang Nan was a runner up in the men's doubles with Fu Haifang and won the mixed doubles with Zhao Yun Lei. It's a long one. Doubles. Service over. Three, one. Delightful drop shot in the mixed doubles, didn't we? Yeah, very effective. Yeah. Service over. Two, four. This is where the Danes are really good on that return of serve, the first three shots. They are really, really good at that. Oh, 
service over. Five, two. Service over, three, five. I think it's great that Endo has taken upon him to work with one of the younger men's doubles players. Of course now, Watanabe is coming, coming good, but let's say a year ago, two years ago, when they started working together, he was very young and very green. So I think it was really a very nice gesture of Endo to, you know, start yeah. a new partnership after having such a successful partnership with his previous Four, partner. Absolutely. Five. They formed their partnership, these two, actually, after the retirement of Hayakawa mm. after the Olympic Games, yeah. where was... Hayakawa injured his back. Yeah, and that's true. was in a terrible state and didn't play again after that. Yeah. And I've always really, really liked the game of Endo. I think he's been fast and furious. He's been really a wonderful player to watch. And it's good to see that he can, you know, bring this young guy up. And, and here he is once again in a semi-final that really matters and perhaps maybe a final tomorrow, depending on how it goes today. Yeah. Seven over. Six, four. Springers went there, I assume. Yes, they did. And they hit it underneath the net. Bless. Get any good gun. shot from Carsten. Yeah, that's where they're good. The shorter the rallies, of course they prefer that. But not in this way. <laughs> Seven, six. I know it's very late. No. Yeah, held 
Caught by the net cord there, Morganson. But still very impressive, aggressive play by the Danes. Eight, seven. Going to the lead for the first time now, the Danes. That's fantastic. Ten-seven. Yeah, the Japanese pair put themselves into I trouble when I they're attacking. They really have to be focused on where they hit because otherwise the court is completely wide open and the Danes push it into that corner all the time. Yeah. That's oh, yeah, lovely. He's guiding the shuttle into the open space. Ten. Look at that. It is, it's just guiding it there. Serve is long, and the Danes go to the mid-game interval with a three-point advantage. So it's not Men vi skal ind og holde den der, vi lige markerer, at vi fylder noget på træerne, ikke? Ja. Og det, det er her, vi gerne vil, men vi er klar til med det samme bum lige give dem. Vi skal bare gerne have, at vi lige har en lille smule side på, og så lad os holde op og lægge noget derovre. Ja. 20 seconds! 20 seconds! Godt! Et andet, du har tænkt. Jakob Hoy, the coach for the Danes, and for the Japanese pair, Orioni Maneki and Park Jubon. Did you catch anything from Jakob Hoy there? Um, a little bit. Some, of course, I understood it, but yeah. uh, they, they were talking a little bit in like a, a code, you know, when we do this, we do that, number three, so and so. And what is number three? Yeah. Um, but. Um, but I think they're quite happy how it's going. I think Kassan, they are Garedi. fairly confident that uh, they will do well. Play. And they feel that they, they're putting Endo under a lot of pressure already. He's got to work so hard mm. in his attacking skills. So, um, so they're, they're confident that they can really push him hard. Mm. And that's a great flick serve from Mogensen. In fact... Watanabe did awfully well to get it back at all. He's young, he's only 20. Nice <laughs> <laughs> oh. challenge here. But they thought it was long with the back line. Call in. I think chances are the linesman is, is right. But let's see. Yeah. Was in. Challenge now successful. One challenge remaining. Savi Sofa, 9, 12. 
Right. Savisova. Thirteen nine. Oh, that's a service error. A piece for the two Japanese players. tournament finals with Hayakawa. Didn't win one of them. No, he, I, I thought so. I thought he had no, no titles to his name. Yeah. So but being such a good player is, is quite amazing. 11. No super serious titles to his mm. name. Yeah, OK. 15 Play. finals in his career in men's doubles, only three titles. Mm. Two of those were Grand Prix gold events. Okay. Oh, I missed it all together. Any other mistimed it? Savisova, 12-15. Strings are piling up. Yeah. Interesting to see how Watanabe is using his mixed double skills to find the gap mm. all the time. Look at that, those delayed shots he's got. He's finding the gap the whole time, which is very interesting to watch. Nice. Taking the pace out Sammy of the shot. Sober. 16, 13. Oh, sorry. Sorry, no. Play. Yeah, sorry. Come. Come. Don't need end the game. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yes. 
It wasn't just the interception, it was the placement. Yes, the angle he made that. 16. Matias Bo. Now, had a five point advantage at one stage, 14 9. Savisova, 17 15. Not the best of serves. This is really one of the things that made the Danish pair very successful. The transformation of how Carsten Mogensen has been able to not only play from the back, but also gets very much stronger at the front of the court, at the net. And vice versa, where Matthias is actually also getting a lot stronger from the back than what he, let's say, 10 years ago. Yeah. You would have seen Carsten only at the back and Matthias only at the front. Now they play like an all-round game and they cover one another so much better. I thought he was going to go for a second drop shot, to be honest. Yeah, me too. Matthias really had to back off there because it was slightly short, slightly flat, that lift. So he had really to back off a bit, so a drop shot would have been good. points away from this opening game for the number Play. two seeds from Denmark. Opportunities. 20, Four of them. Point, 16. down his forehand side. He's a bit slow to react there. Kasten, get ready. Oh, another service error. Game. And that gifts the opening First game, game to the Danes, 21-17. 21 17. 
23 minutes for that opening game. And the number two seeds just one game away from a fourth All England final. Men vi har gjort rigtig meget af det her, næsten vi har brudt dem inde på herinde i mellem nylåsen på, på forbanen på træerne. Vi kan godt holde længe af os, når vi kommer ind på dem. Vi kan gerne lige længe i foran dem. Det er sådan, at Bas er næste, der laver også den der retur på dig mod hjørnet. Ja. Inden for, at han smider en vej over hovedet. Ja. Det er som om, han har spredt så meget selvfølgelig nu, men altså, jeg håber, at han ikke får det. First get ready. Uh, when you consider that two years ago, Carsten Mogensen was fighting for his life. Second game. After a brain aneurysm. To be back at this level and contesting a semi-final and one game away from a fourth All England final, it is miraculous Lol. recovery. It is. The whole Play. badminton nation of Denmark, we were just stunned that you know it happened in Russia, mm. and then how he uh, had the operation over there, came back and back into rehab, and then. Back in training almost straight away. It was fantastic. Ooh, challenge here. I think Matthias is right. Matthias will tell us call in. Well, we wait for Hawkeye. Morton, was there anything to add from Jakob Hoy tactically? Um, they were mainly mainly discussing uh, serve and service return, you know, what, what they are doing and what we out. are doing and all that. There was basically all surrounding around the service situation. Yeah. One love. Which is what they focus Play. on more than anything, isn't yes. it? So, a successful challenge. Endo. Two, one. Broken the racket head. How so on well. earth did he stay in that rally? Two, there 
it went Hello. in all sorts of trouble. And look at this shot. Yeah, that's amazing with a broken racket and then and a up. lift. Yuta. Another block. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stay at the front now, partner. <laughs> Get ready, quicker. Oh, that's not going to see another shuttle, is it? No, that's wasted. Yeah. throughout the tournament. Three, very, two. very alert to that flick serve. Oh, he's quick, and I'm very impressed by his defensive skills. When you, whenever the Japanese combination is in, in a defensive situation, the Danes, they cannot kill him. When, when they score, over. they score on Endo, they never score on Three, Watanabe. Four. That's another one here. Savisova. Hey. Uh, Kasten is not happy with that Four. one. He shouldn't have made a Three. mistake. That was a golden opportunity. Endo. Five. Yeah, oh. that's second time today, isn't it? Who was the one that did the first one today? Lin Dan, I think. Yeah, Lin Dan in the men's singles. Yeah. yeah. Referee because a blood injury. Is it a blood injury or is it 
Just that he got banged on his finger there. Dr. Ashwin Patel, 35th year, he was telling me, or well, 34th year that he's volunteered as the tournament doctor. That's amazing, isn't it? Isn't it He was terrific? around when I played. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely terrific. Frederico Valdez in the red top there. He's one of the deputy referees. Some cool spray. <laughs> <laughs> that was cold. <laughs> yeah. Getting old, you know that. Edward. Too cold now. But, but spray, stay here. No. no. Against the wood. Hmm? Against. Spray. No. Oh, so he's okay. asking for the cold spray to be left. Oh, yes, no, it's no wonder he's got yeah. a little bit sore on his finger there it's because that's where, up a bit yeah, now. that's where they clashed. In fact, his partner whacked him on the hand there. Six, five. Play. <laughs> Defense initially from Endo. Seven, five. Goes long. Eight, six. Once oh, again. Crikey, what a good call. <laughs> yeah, it was. And Navi is setting it up very nicely for his partner in there. Missing it by a whisker. Nine, six. This is the kind of mistakes Endo. that Endo really have to stop doing now because otherwise the Danes are just running away. He'll be very consistent in what he's doing now. Ten, six. Really good flick serve here by Matthias Bow, setting it up nicely for Carsten. Good serving. Six in the wall. So it's a nice little lead. Five point advantage at uh, the mid game interval.
coach. Return to your chair now. Thank you. Eleven six. Play. Oh, that's delightful. Lovely. Twelve six. Yeah, once again the Danes in the interval was quite confident things are going. Good for them. They even felt that they don't have to be so sharp in their defense when it comes to blocking and so on because they don't feel that the Japanese pair is really punishing them, even if it's a loose one. First service fault of the match. Too high. Over. 13-7. Oh, once again. Once again, we see Sammy this uh, stop drop. Really, Eight, very, very 13. nice executed. Look at that. It's over. 14. on that kill to just change the angle. Yeah, how he, he gets it to the right here. Out there, yes, yeah. well played. One who is really good doing that today is uh, Sukamulyo. Yes. He's really good doing that. A few years ago, it was Jonas Rasmussen. title in 2010 with Lars Porska beating this Danish pair in the final. Oh. All Danish final? Yeah. Savisova. 15-10. the little mixed double shot that Sammy you were talking Sova. about, that ability yes. to find that little mid-court area. 11, and with a lovely 15. disguise, look at that. Diaspo challenges call in. Well, the very first rally of this second game, they challenged and they were correct. Oh, what 
goodness, what can I say this time? They're correct again. Another correct challenge. Correction out. Service over. 16 11. That was a good call by Matthias. Play. taken that's a prime example of what you were talking about 17, with Carsten's improvement at the front of the court yeah you wouldn't have seen that I don't know 10 years ago is a long time but you wouldn't have seen that some years ago yeah oh, oh. Oh, good placement Salisova. 12, 13-17. Quick tolling. It almost seemed to climb up the tape, didn't it, before it went over? <laughs> okay, thank you. Are becoming 17. a little bit too defensive at the moment, waiting for the mistakes from the Japanese. But they keep fighting back, they play very positive badminton. So the Danes have to get back into their old style of play, the, the service return situation, see if they can score some quick ones there. Semisova. 18-14. And that will do. Matthias Bow. 15 18. Mm, bizarre effect. Carsten. going to come back, <laughs> put away with Venom. <laughs> Semi -sober. He made sure. Two 19, points away 15. from a place in the final once again for the Danes. Bow on the way through, I assume. Yes, it did. Yeah. Oh. 
Yep. <laughs> Bounced off his back. Good spot by the umpire. Endo, the Danes, on the verge of victory. But what a rally played by Carsten Morgensen. He Place. covered three quarters of the court on certain occasions and got it, everything back. Really played well in that rally. Oh. Seven Sova. 17 20. Well, he struggled with his serve, Hazendo. Second match point for the Danes. It's out, it's out. Challenge, challenge here by the Danes. They've been right every time they've challenged so far in this second game. Good point. And Hawkeye oh, says yeah. they're right again. What I said. And victory oh. to Matthias Bowe and Carsten Morgensen. Symmetry in the scoreline. 21-17, 21-17. In a match lasting 50 minutes. Danish fans on their feet. And the traditional Danish 17. celebration. Their confirmation. 50 minutes, 21 17. 21 17. They'll be very, very happy with that. They played well, and it means that, as with the women's singles final, the men's doubles final will be the number one and the number two seeds playing against each other in tomorrow's final. So they take leave of the court, and that's the last of the semi-finals for today. So just to recap on this evening's session, which all started with an absolutely wonderful women's singles. Akane Yamaguchi, the number two seed, coming from behind in the deciding game against the world and Olympic silver medalist Pusala Venkata Sindhu. An hour and 20 minutes for that victory. Then Lin Dan against his teammate Huang Yuxiang, six-time former champion, by winning today means that he will contest his 10th All England final tomorrow. In the women's doubles, Fukushima and Hirota, the World Championship silver medalists, they too had to come from a game behind and uh, they won in an hour and 11 minutes. Then a, th a thrilling uh, mixed doubles with Cheng Si Wei and Wang Yashiong. They came from 7-11 down at the change of ends in their deciding game, an hour and eight minutes. So the first four semi-finals in this evening's session all going the full distance. The men's doubles was the only match this evening that was won in two straight games. Bo and Morganson safely through to the final. 21-17, 21-17 in 50 minutes. 
So finals tomorrow here at the 108th All England Championships. Finals start at 12 noon. That, of course, is 1200 GMT. Uh, Japanese players will contest three of the five finals tomorrow. It should be a great day. I'm very much looking forward to it. I hope you'll be able to join us too. 12 o'clock tomorrow. Don't forget, finals once again here from the All England Championships. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.